guys were mesmerized. I'm gonna go stand up here next to them see if they even notice. Okay, first few moments of the job, what we have to do is shoot grade in the bottom using our laser level to see if the bottom part is flat, which it's not. It's about five inches higher where Ellis is than it is in this corner. So before we even pull string lines, we're gonna have to get this um, machine delivered, hopefully use the blade to level it out. That makes things a lot easier for pouring the slab, doing the footings. We also check the height of the cut between benchmark to benchmark. It's about nine feet, which we only want about seven and a half feet. So we may have to do like 12 inch block poured solid instead of eight inch. But I hate 12 inch block. So that's, that's yeah, that's okay. one thing. So we're gonna check all this stuff out and I think we're just gonna have to wait on the machine for a minute. So do they give you like instructions on how to drive that thing before they just give it to you? Heck no, dude. You just give them a security deposit, they give you the machine. Good luck, wow. you know. <laughs> they know who you guys are? They're getting ready to find out. Wow. I'm sure they took pictures of it in case we flip it over. I and, hope they took yeah. pictures of it. You can go first if you want. I'll give it a try. You need to dig off right there and then, you know, push out right there and we'll lay it out. Okay, you got it. Good luck. Eric's just learning how to use the machine here. You know, you gotta try all the controls out and figure out what everything does. So, uh, yeah, it looks like he's, he's still working on that. Yeah, seatbelt. What we're doing here is leveling it out perfect to nearly like an inch from level, the whole thing. And that'll make everything easier the whole way through the house, even though it doesn't really seem necessary. It was about five or six inches difference between the high point and the low point, And now it's an inch or so, which is way better. I would consider letting you drive this, but it's on my credit card. Perfect. All right, this is past my 12 point inspection, so I think we're good to go with laying out the foundation and digging the footings. Actually, Ray did all the work with the laser, and uh, I just checked it for the, you know, for the video. So here you go, Ray. Good job, bud. You did it just right, buddy. Did something right today. Yeah, man. Where's the end of the string? I don't think there is one. I think <laughs> it's just one continuous loop. Infinity string. Another unexpected delay. <laughs> oh, I found it. It's right it, there. You had one job to buy a string line. You can't even do that right. <laughs> We're having to do a little more digging here. We pulled the diagonals and laid out the foundation and this wall was gonna run from like two feet out to like bang right there into this dirt bank. So that's not gonna work. I wanna show you guys the dirt in this cut. <laughs> uh, there's a line in it, see that? And the dirt from here down is original soil and from here up is fill dirt and you can't build a house on a fill dirt unless you dig all the way through it and put the footings in the original soil or you compact the soil to some kind of engineering specs. And we're good here because you can see this original soil line coming down. It's like right here. It keeps going down, of course, but that's where the front uh, of the house is gonna be. So the footings are all on solid ground here in this case, except for the deck piers. We may have to dig down out here because this may be fill dirt a few feet deep to get them in. I gotta hand it to the guys that do this on super steep slopes with a machine because it was real scary driving right up the edge of that, pushing this dirt. <laughs> and it's not even that steep compared to a lot of stuff. So I'm just a sissy when it comes to this kind of stuff so far. Everybody stop working. I'm hungry. You eat a lot of apples, Ray? Yeah, apple a day. Keep something away. I don't remember what. Vampires. Yeah. <laughs> We're checking out the scenery at lunch here. And uh, these two mountains are both over 6,000 feet. Focus up there.
Ray's got this app called Peak Finder. Yep. Yeah. Tells you what you're looking at. Cool, cool. Here's a quick rundown of how we're laying out this foundation. First, we pull one string line parallel with the back of the cut over length, more than 36 feet. Then we pull out the width of the house, 26 feet, pull another parallel string line, put two stakes in the ground, again, over width. Then we will put two dots on the back string line representing both ends of the structure. Right then we will pull diagonals across to the front line, and that will give us the two dots on our front string line. Then we simply string front to back, and that will give us the entire structure outlined square, squared up. This is important. I'm gonna measure the bucket. What you got? One foot 10 is 22. <laughs> so we'll just mark for 24, because the teeth, I think, probably stick out an inch either side. Yeah. So we'll mark uh, eight inches outside the line, 16 inches inside. So this is what we're gonna use to gauge the widths off the string line. <laughs> My rake, oh, it's my rake. What? <laughs> Sorry about Just that. Just paint it green, I don't care. There you go. We got our laser reader set to the correct depth. Now we can actually start building the house. So first scoop coming up, let's do it. lapse running here this is my wife's old phone where the audio doesn't work but it's great for time lapse we got a rotation going wheelbarrow man shovel man stick man jason said he did 40 40 before he swapped we've only been 10 feet <laughs> don't talk back jones just do what you're told Now we got a toilet. You actually need a toilet to get your first inspection. They won't pass you if you don't have one on your job. What's happening? Not much. We all came up on top of the world here now. So this footing is deeper on the front because there's no backfill on this side. Like on this side, there's eight feet of backfill on top of the footing. So the coat here, the bottom of the footing has to be at least a foot below grade in this climate, much deeper in colder climates so that the ground below it doesn't freeze and push the house up. So we're going deeper here, about six inches deeper. Ooh, wow. Ouch. Bad. Wow. Here's our porch piers marked. They're nine foot on center and they're eight feet out from the house. <laughs> We're gonna dig those next. Is that two by two? That's a two by two. If we can do a two by two, that'll be impressive. It might be a three by three by the time we're done. It's hard to dig a perfect two by two hole deep with a bucket. So these are kind of long and we gotta square them up. Jay. Woo! That is the end of day one. We got the footings dug, we got the pad leveled, we got the basement widened, we got the piers dug for the porch. Bobcat did great digging. Uh, <laughs> 
So that's it. That's a day and that's an episode. Thanks for building with us today. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for building with us today. <laughs> Bob the Builder. Took a little detour on my way home today to see if we could see our project from the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I think you can. Wow, look at that view, first of all. That's the Blue Ridge Mountains. If you haven't never been here, it's pretty amazing. A couple of 6,000 foot peaks up there and some weather moving in. Our job site is right there, right in the middle of the screen. So indeed you can see it. And this is, we're building this house. Wow. <laughs>